a few people asked me for a video of the van, so quick video for everybody. It's the driver's side, which is the non-serving side for the customers. This is external, obviously. Rear doors, back steps needs a bit of a touch up. Customer's window side. Some of the large flying flags to grab extra attention. And go inside the van. Just turn it over. Save this straight away. No issues. Just pass this in OT for 12 months. Turn that off so you can hear properly. You have a set of two different tunes. And volume level control. And then the other side, different tune again. Double sink there as required. Go into the back, the serving area. You have what is the Walls Cornetto soft serve machine. More specifically, so you put a cartridge in here, comb goes there, and you pull the handle, presses down, and it makes a nice Mr. Whippy come out. Napkins here, nice bit of signage above the top. You've got double freezer here. Double freezer next to it, and a single freezer here. Bit of signage at the back there. That's to hold the cones. That's to put an iPad, iPod display. If you want to have your till on there, that's up to you. Sound bar for music. Um, then the teller is all display. This is what is a chocolate melter or chocolate warmer. It's handy for different sauces, like toffee and chocolate, white chocolate. You name it, caramel. And then there's the two crepe pans there. Here is a Birko hot water heater, good for teas, coffees, hot chocolates. Lights above you, when it's night time, perhaps you see. And obviously extractor fan. Um, tools, everything you need for the crepes is there. Plus little jars for any little bits and extra bits. A Couple of little small menus. Get an idea if you want. Kind of things that I was doing. This was all savoury stuff, depending on the location or the event. Another one which I just have scooped ice cream, different flavours. Then you've got two rather large under counter fridges here, and then another two slightly smaller under counter fridges here. Both great for cans of pop or even keeping the chocolate in if it's a hot day. Um, waffle machine is down there depending what kind of function and event you're doing. That's the crepe pans. Take that cover off there, slide it down. You've got the controls here, which control the flow of the gas. Up and down, I don't know if you can see very well in the video. There we go. Obviously the sparker to ignite. You can always use a bond lighter stick if it's uh, not sparking straight away. That's there, as you can see, both of them are lit and working. Um, very much the same with the Burko heater, the controls down here, twitch turns on. Again, you can stick in a lighter if the spark freezes to play ball. For nighttime use, I had these light up signs, which are really good for drawing attention, um, especially for festivals. Uh, and reads the job well. All in all, it's a very unique van. Um, any questions, then please send me a message. Thank you. One last thing that I did forget to mention or forget to show is through the rear doors. It is possible to serve from the rear doors, but it's also nice to be able to have the fresh flowing air. You can step up, see you know, the inside from here. But ultimately, this is where the storage is for the gas can, the gas, gas cylinders, shall I say, 
for the crepe pans and the Burko heater, they're both there. Um, large, I think they're 19 kg bottles, I can't quite remember now, but they do last their time. You can swap over from one to the other, one, one's running low, so you never run out, to be honest. Uh, and then on the other side is the Honda EU30 IS silent generator, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, great for mobile use if you're changing locations. There's also the option to be plugged directly onto mains power if you um, have the option. If you're an, an event, a fair, or a festival, and they have the ability, you can go 240 or go through a 120 for a transformer. All the cabling is all there with it. Okay, thank you very much.